Now, there are several functions available to check or verify the data types of objects you create in R. Um, these functions return the logical value true or false depending on whether the object matches the specified data type. So what are those functions? Let's write a comment here. Functions to verify data types. So these functions include for every particular data type that we have observed, we have the is followed by the data type. So is dot and then numeric. You can see that we have it here in the intelligence. So I can click on this to autocomplete and it takes in just a simple argument, which is X. At this point, I will make it very simple. All you need to do is just pass into it whatever object that you write. If it is a number, pass into it to find out whether this is a numeric data type. So let me write a comment here so that this becomes very clear. So this one would check if the object in the function is numeric. We also have is dot integer. We have is dot character, is dot logical, is dot complex. So all the data types that we have covered have a corresponding is dot prefix to check if that particular object that you put into this parenthesis is that particular data type. So let us demonstrate how these work. So for example, I would like to create a variable called A, and I just simply want to pass the value 57. Now let's clear the console first. I execute this A equals 57, and I will use the is.numeric function and pass the variable that I have created, which is the A storing the value of 57, pass it into this function and execute. And the answer is gonna be true because it is indeed a numeric data type. I will create another variable called B and write 99L. And we know that 99 with the suffix L simply makes it an integer. So if I execute this code and I go ahead and check is.integer and I pass into it B, I end up getting the result to be true. Now, what happens if I go ahead and check if this B is also numeric? And that is also going to be true because it makes no particular difference between an integer and numeric. Remember that numeric data types are whole numbers or any number that you can think of. So the whole numbers and numbers with decimal point values. So there's not much any difference between the numeric and the integer data type. Let me clear the console and demonstrate one more thing for you to see. So for example, if I go ahead and write 78 plus 10 and execute, we get the answer to be 88. If I also go ahead and write 78, 8L plus 10L, which are both integers, we end up getting the result to be 88. So there is not much difference between the numeric and the integer data type. They all yield the same result, which is simply numeric data type. Even if I mix them up, 78L plus 10, which we know 78L is strictly an integer and the 10 is strictly a numeric data type. If we add them together, we still get a result to be 88. So I would advise that whenever you are working with a particular data type that involves numbers, just simply feel comfortable and go with the numeric data type. Now let's continue. So I will also assign another value to a variable called C and just simply write our programmer. I execute this and then I would use is.character and pass into it the C variable that I've created and we get the answer to be true because the C is truly a character data type. However, if I go ahead and write is.numeric and I pass into it C and execute, we get false because our programmer cannot possibly be a numeric data type. Let's create another variable D which contains one logical constant true. And if we go ahead and check if this is logical and execute this code, we get the answer to be true because it is logical. If we also check if it is numeric and then pass into it the D, we end up getting the result to be false because true is not a numeric data type, but a logical data type. Let's create another variable called E, and then let's simply pass into it a complex data type, like 5 plus 13i. If I execute this, and then I use is.complex and pass into it the E variable that I've created and execute this result, we end up getting the result to be true because that is a complex data type. 
But if I pass it into any of the other functions like a.logical, we end up getting the result to be false. I can also pass into a.numeric and pass the e variable into the function, execute, we get the answer to be false. So this is how you can check or also verify the data types that are found in R.